Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, we have a mission from the Bailiff to do some things. Of course, since we are in Red Eye, well, since we are loading in Red Eye, um, I feel like I should lighten the horse's load, and mine as well. He's about full inventory. I'm about at full inventory. Yeah. So, we need to fix that, in my personal opinion. Let's go by weight, then. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. Uh, yeah, looking for a cook. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook, but I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Okay. Uh, yeah, what do you expect? Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. <laughs> well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Yeah. Well... I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? <laughs> what for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. Uh -huh. I understand. Okay. Sorry. It's good to know, though, because you never know with people. Some folk might like the uh, young and nimble type of cook. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. <laughs> I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such menace. That's not a concern for decent people. <laughs> wow. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Wow. Wow. I mean, I understand it's an awkward subject, but it's a necessity, you know? It's something that they need people to do, so, uh, if you can't talk about it, then it's not going to be able to get done properly. You have to be able to s describe all of the things that need to be accomplished. That's always been a pet peeve of mine, is lack of communication. Whether somebody's uh, sugarcoating something, or they have some sort of weird restraint. Like some kind of personal problem with sharing information. Or if they just outright lie about something. You can't ever make accurate decisions on uh, inaccurate information, that's for sure. God save, what can I do for you? How's it going, Alex? It's me, buddy. I sold your food. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? Well, what That's right. It? it will benefit everyone. That's right. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. Well, who cares if anyone doesn't want to do it? It needs to be done. It needs to be done, and if there's people available to do it, like... Henry says it benefits everybody. Not having excrement piling up to the ceiling. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. Hmm. I don't like his attitude. I totally disagree. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to, then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house. So they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. Okay. That makes things easier for me. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? 
Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. Hmm. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Okay. Thanks. I'll go. I said good day, sir. What are you doing hiding behind my horse, huh? Better not be digging around in saddlebags, you dirty guard. You dirty thief guard. Alright, let's sneak through these people's garden. I use the term garden very... Britishly. Okay, so this lady is at the church somewhere. Whoa ho ho! Whoa ho ho! I didn't even get knocked off my horse. Alright. I'm gonna pull a, uh, a knight's tail. I'm not gonna pull a knight's tail. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pull this uh, action that he that he did in a knight's tail. Okay. I don't see this lady anywhere in church. Uh, he said that she sleeps at the presbytery, right? So that's the little house outside. Southern Baptist talk. We call it a... Uh, what do we call it? I say we like I still am one. Um, parsonage. A parsonage. There we go. There she is. No, no, no. I'm trespassing. I don't want to be stuck trespassing while I'm conversing with her. Really? Okay. I'm going to chance it. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. <laughs> so it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. There you go. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. And why not? Oh, <laughs> he says exactly that. Uh, yeah, why and not? why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. Okay. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Yeah. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. Uh, what happened to him? Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him... He was going to confession in Sassau, but that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. Yeah. I'll let you know. Okay. Good. I'm pretty sure we've already robbed this place, so I'm not going to worry about checking around. Okay. Is that all the way in Sasso? It is. We have to wait for... Um... For Dude to invite all the... Rattai people to the Rat House. So I think... I think it's fine. Let's just go. Nothing to see here. Okay. I don't even have my sneaky clothes on right now. Uh, sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneak them. I could probably put on my padded chasses though, and be even quieter. Cool. Pilgrim shoes. I gotta keep those on me for the next pilgrim I come across. And monks have it. I imagine that that belongs to the guy that we're looking for. 
Yeah, Father Fabian. I can't, uh, I can't talk to him right now. I can stealth kill him, knock him out, or pickpocket him, but I can't talk to him right now. Same with Master Oda. Same with the Skullet's Priest. Oh, wait. Oh, this is him. Yeah, yeah, it's a private area. So what? Talk to me. What are you up to here? Oh, sorry. Get out of here or I'll pull the guards on you. He stumbles down the stairs. <laughs> you can do it, priest. You can do it. Yes. Yes, you can. Come on outside. Hey. They're off before I had to throw down. Yep. There he is. Perfect. Man, that's crazy. Father, when do you plan to return to St. James? I beg your pardon. Why do you ask, my boy? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Ratai and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived. Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. Tell her I appreciate her concern, but to look out for herself now. Simple enough. Oh, no. We are actually trespassing right there. Okay. Seems like we're fine, though. Oh, hi. Hi there, lady. How are you, lady? Mill Maid Jane? Ho, ho, ho. Not gonna keep me out with any very easy locks. Oh, hello. God be with you, Henry. Yep, also with you. Sorry, I didn't know that y'all were, uh, talking to each other. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Well, you can. Give my friend some more. Teresa, the millmaid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalis, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Well, why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Yeah, Teresa Thomas, said you were a crippled old fault. man. Tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. Oh, okay. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? Oh, of course not. I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. You know me? Miller, you know me. Everyone around here knows me. And you also probably know that I work for Sir Radzig Kobola. Really? Oh no, I'm putting Radzig's name on the line really? now. <laughs> That's not good. And I'll be very grateful if you do this for me. I know how to reward those who help me. I know. People around here know me. That's right. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. Well, that's something, I guess. I mean, it's the first job that I came up to. You would think that they would have been able to find it on their own, which, first and foremost, causes me to realize they aren't the hard workers that he's looking for, you know? That's just my two cents worth. Okay, where are these idlers? I have to find work for all of them. Oh, let's tell the lady first. Yeah. Let's run flat into the wall that I so masterfully avoided last time. Is she in here now? She is. Let's pull a knight's tail again. And may the souls of all the faithful departed. All right, Agnes. The mercy of God. Uh, I asked around in Sasa. Father Francis is doing well in Sasa. He has no plans to return to St. James anytime soon. You talk to him. How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. No. Uh -huh. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. Uh, yeah, he's working somewhere else, lady. I asked the abbot. 
He said they have work for him elsewhere and that St. James will have to wait. Wait? I remember the last time. We had to go to Sasa for almost two years. I probably won't even live that long. <laughs> that won't be that bad. Well, I shouldn't Meanwhile, laugh. Back in those days, house and your life expectancy knows. wasn't what it is now. Find you like it. You're probably right. What else can I do at my age? And the presbytery is too big for one woman alone. So you agree you'll go and work for Hagen? Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> I'll go and do housekeeping for him. Okay. All right, that'll work for me then. Done. So now I guess I gotta go tell dude that he has a housekeeper now. Who can impress folk with her food and not her face. Trust me, her face is not that impressive. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry, I'm in a mood tonight. <laughs> I don't mean to be super rude like that. Alright. We're all fancied up now. Let's look these guys over as soon as... Oh, what? Come on, it's like 10 o'clock. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. These tailors are the laziest bums. Never mind. You guys, you guys totally have work. The tailors are the laziest bums. Tonda. Cornelius. There's six folk here, and I'm only going to be able to pick five. Let's start with Antonia. Ladies first. What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. Wow. I only have the options to turn her down? Are you kidding me? Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. Well, so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. Oh no. He's dying. He's badly wounded. Uh huh. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Oh sure. Unconscious most of the time. Where is he? I'll take a look it. at him. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. Apothecary? And he won't lift a finger for us now. Who else said it like that? There was somebody else who pronounced it apothecary. I'm pretty sure. That's the strangest pronunciation I've ever heard. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the Silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. Oh, wow. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? She's clearly strong enough for the job. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? Antonia. I'll remember that. She definitely deserves the work. All right, Vincent. What can you do? Good health to you. Yep. Also with you, unless you're carrying poo. Are you here on account of the water carrier? I mean, especially if you're yes, carrying I am. poo. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I ask away. Okay. What did you do before? What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? Who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? These farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. Oh. Oh. That's enough. Oh. <laughs> okay. How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. I mean, you could always go try rebuilding it. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Unless there's bandits around. Um. And what would you give me if I put in a good word for you? 
I've got nothing to give. Mm -hmm. oh, come now. You say you want the job, so prove it to me. Mother told me I should go and help. If, if you don't want my help, fair enough. I see, I see. What happened with Bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. Man, this guy is the timid, timidest That's enough for person. Okay. What about you, Pikmin? Good day to you. What do you need? You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can haul water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? Okay, he's, uh... He's enthusiastic, at least. So, tell me. What was your trade before? I was a miner. Then a farm laborer. Then I was a servant. Then I fled from Skullets and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Okay. Pickman. That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Vassal. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Digging with a pick. Aha. Uh -huh. So I guess he's going to say something else? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner. Then a farm laborer. Then I was a servant. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Uh, I like them all. I see. Right, I see. Okay, that was the other option. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? How are you holding up, anyway? What can I tell you? I've seen better days, for sure. True, true. What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. There you go. Okay. That does happen. Well, I could put in a good word for you, but uh, you'll have to scratch my back, too. Fair enough. Show me where it itches. <laughs> no, He's taking it literally. <laughs> just say it. Like I do something for you, and you do something for me. Ah, right. I see. Well, as it happens, I've got something great for you. Treasure you wouldn't dream of. Ah, treasure, eh? Treasure, you say? Right, you got my attention. I see you're a smart man. A man who knows a thing or two about the world. Oh. I've got... Wait for it. I've got a piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Never heard of her. Are you kidding me Is right she... now? She was a great queen in ancient times she gave Solomon a sword a sword with magical powers magical eh you shouldn't believe everything you hear <laughs> no, I need that piece though it's true. <laughs> for the quest it's in the bible and this sword once it's put back together nothing can stop it it can cut through bones teeth even steel and stone Sure. See. Sure. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it off didn't have the rest. He sold off bits and pieces. But they've got powers of healing, you see? And and put strength in your <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> manhood. Sure, sure. Of course. What do you say? I mean, I already have ground-up unicorn horn for it. Um, yeah, agreed. We'll shake on it. I'll get you the job, and you'll give me the piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Agreed! Awesome. Reward from Pikmin. Okay. So he's a shoe in My respects to you. 
You're one of the people interested in work? Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... Okay. So were you a miner? At the mines. So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shop. And I hope I'll be working there again. Now that I think of it, have you heard anything from that old ships? When will they open the mines again? Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're planning. Well, I have no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. All right. I just thought you might have heard something. Okay. Uh, how are you getting on? How are you holding up? You mean this here? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? That time in Scalix. I was knocked down by a horse. That was probably but me. But it's better now. <laughs> uh, is his arm really crippled? But can you handle carrying water? It's no easy matter. Sure I can. Like I said, my arm's fine. Let's ask him again. Up? You mean this hit? What happened to it, anyway? That time in Scalix. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not here. You can't carry water like that. Well, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. Can I help him? Well, I could find something that will help you. Anything. Find a healing concoction. Here you go. This will help it heal better. Thank you so much. I always carry so many potions on me all the time. Uh, oh, it was a marigold. Even better. I have way too many of those. Um, he already owns the sawbones. Oh, nothing. We Scalitz folk have to help each other out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Okay, so now he can uh, carry water. The bailiff said he couldn't get a word out of you. Well, he's not the most popular man around here, after everything that's happened. You can't blame us. Maybe, but if you lot had just talked to him, I wouldn't have to run around dealing with this, and you'd all have a few groschen by now. You might be right. But there's no point crying over spilt. True, true. This guy's pretty practical. I can appreciate him. His disposition, I should say. Um, okay. That's enough, enough for, for now. now. Cornelius. Good day to you. What can you do, my friend? You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Hit your questions for good for nothings. Oh, really? What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. Okay. The bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how that would put you off him. Yeah, true. True. So how are you doing? How are you holding up in Ratoy? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House, but the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. Welcome, but if you show him what you're capable of... Well, if he gives you a chance to show him... True. Uh, okay. What would you give me if I put in a good word for you? So that's how it is, is it? An honest person can't get a job. Only one who'll stoop to bribing. 
I didn't say you had to. I just want to help, but I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take you. All right. I don't have anything, but I know the armorer in Sassau, and he'll give you a good price if I have a Ooh. word with him. Fancy. Cheap armor might come in handy, all right? Done. Done. As soon as I get the job, come and see me, and I'll tell you all about it. All right. That's enough for now. So we've got Cornelius and Pickman willing to give me some uh, grease for my palms, you might say. <laughs> Good health to you, sir. All right. You're here about the water, Caroline. How? Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. <laughs> we haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. Okay. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So did I get the job? Uh, we're not finished yet. Um, yeah, how are you doing? And how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. But it's not enough. Especially when the dice don't fall in my favor. Aha. Uh -huh. sure. And have you tried looking for other work? So he's a gambler. What for? They'll get the mines running again. And I'll have a real man's job. And what about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Which I once showed to the soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. <laughs> Only, aren't he smart for soldiering? Uh-huh. No doubt. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> okay. Okay. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. Okay. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. Alright, so, uh, real man's work. You know what's real man's work? Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to meet me, I'll break his legs. Uh, you get paid twice. It's a job for a real man. Carrying shit is hard work. A job for a real man. If you think it's so great, why don't you do it yourself? Because I've, I've already got a job, got a job yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so now I'm a beggar. Maybe I really should knock you on your ass. Sorry, no offense. I mean, you could try it. I would totally land you on yours. What would you give me if I recommended you? What could I give when I don't have a pot to piss in? All I have is a strong arm. Whenever I hit anything or anyone, they stay hit. Well, if I get you the job, will you show me how to really hit someone hard? I could. Deal, then. Okay, alright. Deal. So he's gonna give me, uh, tips on... I know everything I need. Punching people. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well, I hope he cheeses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. Yeah, he doesn't deserve the double pay anyway. If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. We'll see. Did everybody else leave? Really? I was certain I was going to be able to have time to uh, talk to them more. Um, because I was going to ask them each how they felt about carrying dung. No chance now, though. No chance. Alright. Oh, sure. This, and uh, 
A little something on top, for good measure. My word. Thank you kindly. I don't think that stuff weighed very much anyway, so... I'm not thrilled to get it out of my inventory, but it's something. Okay. So the... Hmm. Pikmin is kind of a doof. Uh, but we are getting the Queen of Sheba sword from him. Peace. The other guy who came here uh, for what his mom wanted him to do. Huh. I'm really going to have to think about this. Jesus, what do you want from me now? Uh, hello. I'm the guy who was here about that job. Do I want to ask him again? I'd like to talk to you again about that job. No. That's all I need to know. <laughs> good luck, then. That's always good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I guess. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? Um. Yeah. So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Okay. Tondo the Winch was the guy um, who we talked to last. Uh, Rock was the guy that we had to fix his arm for him. Vincent was the farmer's son. Let's see, Cornelius was the mine owner. Pikmin. And Antonia. Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. Okay, she can handle it. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her then? Uh, I wanted to get double the money, but I don't want to... I don't want to make her do bad work. Um, to do the work nobody else wants. But I want her to get double the money. Her husband's all unconscious and dying and stuff. So she needs the cash. Oh, uh, but I respect her... Man, I respect her quality. Okay. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Okay. Um, let's see. Pikmin, we have to give a job. Because he's going to help us out with the sword piece. Vasu goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin. I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. <laughs> no, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? Carrying water. To carry water. I don't want him to be mad at me so we have after one he gets the carry job. Water. Who's next? Um, and I don't want Cornelius to be mad at me after he gets the job either. Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. I would too, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he would get too much money from that, though. Um, and we don't need him to talk to the Sassau armorer for us anyway. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Okay. Um, let's see. Rock is the one we helped with his arm. Yeah, this guy literally said he was going to break the legs of anybody who made him carry shit.
So this guy said he was literally going to break the legs of anybody who had him emptying latrines. Um... Okay, I think Rock can handle the Peter, trains. Better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? Oh, he got into a fight, eh? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Vincent. Moimir's son. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? Uh, water. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. Uh, got it already. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. Okay. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. There you go. Okay, a hundred bucks for it, too. Quest completed, Aquarius. Come on. Oh, that's a tough one. Gonna get over encumbered with stuff that I am not gonna be able to sell very easily. And that door I can just open from the other side. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So, if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.